The views and opinions expressed on this show do not reflect that of the staff and management of WNOV and W293CX 106.5 FM Courier Communications Milwaukee, but are the sole comments of the host and guest of this particular show. The views and opinions expressed in this program do not reflect those of Wisconsin Voices. The views and opinions expressed by host and guests are their own, and their appearance on the show does not imply any endorsement or representation by Wisconsin Voices. Thank you for listening to Be a Voice with Wisconsin Voices. Be a voice. 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 Visit WisconsinVoices.org. Visit WisconsinVoices.org. Visit WisconsinVoices.org. And learn more on how to be a voice with Wisconsin Voices. Michelle, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I just have never sat this low before. So, so. I know. That's it. See, maybe. To get another what chair. chair do you usually use? Um, Just the chair. Like, do you use this chair? Mm-hmm. This is a. Uh, it's too loud. <laughs> I, it, there's a couple chairs here, but they got the pretty chairs, but the most reliable chair is this wooden chair. I slide off these chairs. Too much, too much going on in the back. What? We got a little dancer action going on over right here. Wait, so, what, what do you mean by that? I'm, I'm just, my sisters don't do good in these chairs. Dump trucks. We slide, we slide <laughs> off these chairs. I feel I I feel the different because I do not slide on it. I'm just too short. I have no little job. That ain't why you ain't slide. <laughs> 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 There's way too much going on in the back, and I slim like Latoya, so I slide off the street. <laughs> 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 it's, it's rough. It's rough up in here. And bros just sit down, look. Well, no, no problem over there. Yeah, He's just no, doctor. No, no, I'm trying to keep it that way. If y'all uh, <laughs> go on the, the Facebook uh, page, we have to, you know, we clown people when they come in looking different. Oh. But Mr. GQ here, he has his glasses on in a suit. I pull out the cherry woods. I see him on the back of the TV. I was like, I ain't wear these in a while. Yeah, them still some ch- the stamps. It's cold out there. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I bought like these. That. Yeah, it was uh, before. And they too tall. Yeah, and before Amazon bought this company out, they used to have really exclusive clothing and stuff, and these are a pair of glasses I got. It's real cherry wood on the side, too, so, yeah. yeah uh, what was stuff. the company? Uh, uh, it was uh, it was like it was like a men's, I can't even think of it. It was a men's company that Amazon, so Amazon went through this sweep in, like, 2015, 16 by all the companies that were pretty much like those little uh, GQ Esquire type of companies that sold like, you know, different type of boots and little classy shoes and, you know, cufflinks and all that. They went out and bought them all out. So this is one of the companies they had all types of stuff. They even had some, they had some, these, they sell was great. One time they had a pair of Gucci boots that I don't even wear stuff like that, but I wanted to buy some, just throw them in the closet. <laughs> they went from four ninety five to like two twelve, and they was gone like that. So it was one of them type of sites that had everything you wanted for, you know, m- more, Decent looking stuff that wasn't all, you know, that cheap looking stuff. I don't like the cheap. I got to have some quality in it, you know, that stuff well, that you're looking like you pulled from. I asked Michelle to be my um, personal uh, stylist, shopper, stylist, because, you know, I have no taste. I don't like to shop. I don't think I've went into a mall or a shopping unless I'm going to get some socks or some underwear <laughs> or something. <laughs> I hate the mall. I hate shopping. It is like, I'd rather go be a cleaner at a hotel somewhere. I cannot stand. Now, I will. The shop online, man. Oh, but I have to go through the stuff to look to see what I want. I have no patience for that. Did you say you was doing that? What, did you have to get one of those? Did you buy one oh, so I used to do that. Um, What's that? Stitch Fit? Yeah. Where they just style you and send you a box together. And I, that's what I do because that's about is all I can do. And then I'll look at it and then send back what I don't like or doesn't fit. But they have been really good. I have to I have to do that again. But they have been it's really the good. The shoppers in Wisconsin, though, in Milwaukee area. In fact, I used to run into a number of them when I would be out. A um, couple of brothers, African-American brothers who are personal shoppers. Um, most of their clientele, um, I was, because I had kind of figured it out. Because I was always saying these brothers, you know, they just, they, they, 
you know, dress very well themselves. And they'd always be with these older white women. And I was like, what's going on? And then one of them came up and said something to me because I had something on. And he's like, where you get that from? And then we started talking. He was like, yeah, I'm a personal shopper. And he was like, let me introduce you to my client. And I said, I've seen you before. And I mean, I would see him everywhere. TJ Maxx, boutique shopping, everywhere. But there is, there's a niche out here in this in the area uh, for people that are actually personal shoppers. So you can have a personal shopper fan. I know. It's called Michelle Prime. Oh, was that what it's called? Yeah. Mm-hmm. One tire while we go. Michelle, sure, why was you trying, to, you trying to send her to somebody else? <laughs> right. <laughs> Gary, so you got you personal saw it. shoppers. Yeah. Right back. <laughs> and Michelle, she, uh, I remember Michelle is, you just, I mean, some of the things that we we talk about and and what we do Michelle, you have helped so many people in the community. You have helped so many people. I, I just remember one time, and I will never forget this, somebody commented on your watch, and I won't say who it is. It's like, oh, I really like that watch. Michelle took it off and gave it to her. Mm. And it was a really nice watch. It's just because she's like, you need some accessories. Mm. She's just been really nice to the community. Yeah, I get mad every time I see her with that watch. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Think about the outfit you wore with the watch. Oh my god! Because it was, it was, I just bought something. Yeah, I used with ice watch. piece. I was like, man, that watch looks now. But no, but what it is, it's like you're a giving person. But the reason we here at Wisconsin Voices, I asked you to come on, and we had a, another guest that was supposed to be here, but I guess he, um, his com, he had a conflict or whatever. But um, I heard your other sh- the show you had yesterday. Okay. It was yesterday morning. Oh, it was and you were talking about uh you were talking about the political race, you know, with okay. Biden and Kamala. And we don't do that sort of thing so much somewhat here, but you brought up a good point and I've been thinking about this. So I really wanted you to come in and we want to have a conversation um about this. And the the topic was I and I'll tell you how I got to it. I was watching all these TikToks and stuff mm-hmm. about um, you know, just going through and I kept seeing so many black men and black women like trying to pull down Kamala Harris. Now, this is not a political thing. It was literally a race thing for me. It's like, what, why? I mean, and then I started looking at, and I started looking at, this is historical, and this happens quite a bit, and I wanted to, like, kind of talk about it. Now, our guest, our second guest will be here in about five minutes, Um, then you guys will all recognize the voice, but we'll wait until you get here. But I guess to start the conversation off, it's time for me to go. <laughs> now, just to to and and this, I no, but I will never do that. I would just always. But um, listeners, it will be flipping counters over. It will be Michelle Bryant, and our other special guest is um, Mr. Meach. He calls here on the radio quite a bit. And I would like, and this is not a political thing. This is a, like a a perspective. And I've been reading over the last couple of days, different perspectives over everything. Some people, you know, would, um, there was a, there was somebody on Reddit and they, they wrote this comment, you know, um, why do black men sometimes so critical towards black women? And then it was, and then that conversation on Reddit went into, but it's not about black men and black women. It's about oppression and just um, pure trauma. And who do you take it out on? The people that you love, the people that are closest to you. You don't go up to a stranger when you are upset and just start screaming. Well, some people do, but you don't start screaming. It's the people who you are closest to. And I wanted to have that conversation. Um, and I know it's a bigger conversation than just, you know, 45 minutes or an hour, but it was, we were talking about trauma. We were, we were talking about, um, some, and I was going around asking people, some people were talking about single mother drama or single mama trauma, how single moms raise their sons. And then, um, some men I had heard talk about that 
it's the younger generation. It's not the Gen Xers or above. It's the millennials and the Gen Zers who don't have respect. Um, it was just a whole gamut of different opinions and stuff. So I figured, let's have that conversation here. And I hate to start it out, but let's start with Brian. Because hmm. <laughs> he's the male <laughs> in the room. Yeah. Come on, Cherry Wood. Um, I, I do agree that the... Oh, wait. And I want to tell you that before we start, the, like the, the opinions and interviews, <laughs> the <Cherry> interviews, <laughs> The opinion and views of our panelists are not necessarily the opinions of Wisconsin Voice. And but this is kind of a, a this is each of us our our opinions. Mm -hmm. Um what we think is real, what we think is and that's why we brought the say something real host up in here so she could, you know, give us her opinion too. But go ahead, Brian. Yeah, so what I think when you talk about uh when it comes from Mills point of view with some of their disdain for some black women is primarily from some of how they were raised and the experiences that they've had and took that trauma and never was able to grow or mature from that trauma that they had. You know, sometimes you have to sit back and, and really sit and be with yourself and, you know, whether it's a meditation or going through some type of therapy to try to overcome those, those mental back and forth uh, battles you have in your brain over why, black women this way or why black women do this because you know i see things and i don't agree with everything that i see some black women do but also i know that's only a small portion or a percentage because i'm around amazing black women all the time i mean in this room right now this is amazing black women that do great things nobody's in this room is perfect male or female but when you see people from all different walks of life overcoming obstacles the obstacles that we had in our community alone being professionals and different environments being all of us have been in a room where we're the only black person in that room when we have to go in there and set the tone you know you you start to relate to the struggles that you know the opposite sex have when it comes to you know figuring out themselves and, and overcoming some of those challenges you have in relationships and in your in your professional life sometimes some of those kind of you know kind of blend but for me it's just being able to really have the mindset to be like you know, this is a percentage of our of our group in this country. This is not everybody that's going to act this way if you're feeling like that. And then, you know, understanding that it's Black people from all walks of life. Everybody didn't come from the same type of, you know, I came from the hood structure. Some people just don't relate to us, don't really, you know, in our, in our, in our, in, in within Black people, some people don't relate to us because of how they were raised. You may, may have came from, you know, a, Mequon type or a bit or field type of lifestyle Nicolay. or a Nicolay type right. of lifestyle. Right. And luckily for me, I was able to be back and forth outside the suburbs and into the city. So I was able to get a, a view of my friends who struggled and had worse situations than me that went to Glendale uh, or River Hill, Glendale River Hill School District. And then the ones that were in, you know, great situations that live right across the street from Glen Hills. You can see that house every day when we outside running a mile you know, in gym. So you see the dynamics and I was able to understand, you know, that and see hardworking groups. And I think that's what comes for me is that everybody won't see the, the real the same because their struggles are different. So male or female. Can, can, can I jump in for a sec though? Cause I think we got to be careful about how we, how we talk about some of this stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, one, one thing, um, that just kind of stood out. And there were a couple of things, um, Brian, when we were talking that stood out for me, one thing is, you know, it's people that went to schools in all black neighborhoods, all black high schools, mm -hmm. and they have excelled and done amazingly well. So it's not necessarily always about people got to get out of the, the neighborhood to be able to excel and see other things. And, and I'm not saying that's what you said, yeah. but just making sure that, you know, we, we are poignant about the fact that um, most of the black educators that went on to be like the excellent teachers, they came out of segregated all black environments mm -hmm. and most of the black middle class came out of segregated um, environments. And then ultimately with integration, you get to do things, live differently, mm -hmm. but mostly these structures were born out of those systems. Um, and so um, segregation and those kind of neighborhoods in and of itself was not necessarily something that we have to equate to the struggle. Right. Um, but the other thing is that, you know, when we talk about like women 
and the way certain sisters behave or, you know, what feels like attitude and how these, you know, young brothers say they got raised by their mothers. So many black women, um, and, and so, well, I shouldn't say it, I don't want to say it like that, but there are some black women that are misguided about what it takes to make a brother a man because they are the only ones charged with doing that in some cases, mm -hmm. whether it's be by choice or by design. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you get the, they talk real rough to these brothers. They talk real crazy, real tough, trying to make them be, um, you know, Teflon strong. Yeah. And, you know, cause they like, I know what you can ready to face out here in the world outside my door. I'm not going to be there with you to protect you and guide you and walk you through. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes people go overboard. They do too much, you know, <laughs> yeah. And then some people, you know, like, you don't just be born off the hook. You know, you have had an opportunity to learn that from somebody, to see that somewhere, uh, to be exposed to behaviors and, um, and attitudes that you then impart to your own children. So that's the other thing, you know, when people talk about these women, like, well, where did it start? It didn't just start with her. It, it, it had to start someplace, you know, prior to that, too. Well, we have our um, second special guest. Um, go ahead, Mr. Me, to introduce yourself. Oh, hey, how you guys doing? I I, uh, I appreciate y'all having me on the panel today. And uh, I was listening, and that was you talking about um, you in the room with a lot of amazing women. Yeah. Well, brother, I want you to know you in the room with a lot of amazing men. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know. You know, so that's where we at today. But wh where are you guys at on your topic? And so, how you doing, Michelle? So, and uh, my man here. I don't know you, big brother. Okay, my Dude, name. That's one of the amazing men right there, Jermaine. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out why, because somebody said they was in the room with amazing women. Do we got to come here right away? It's amazing brothers. Nobody has to take anything from a brother to give a sister a compliment. Well, let me say this to you. The reason why I did that is because that's your M.O. It's sort of like you, uh, it, it, that's my M.O. Yeah, you, you, okay. you don't, 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 you don't give us our well to do. But you know, but well, let me be clear. Sure. I have a, I have a, a black male son. Okay. And I have a male grandson. Okay. And I have my brother. Okay. Let me be clear, bro. Well, let me be clear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, 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 look. Wait, when wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Help let me stop this no, right now. Respect this no, no, lady. listen. So well, what I did, it. what I wanted to do was have a conversation. And, um, Mr. Beach, yes, a lot of times you call and you try to express what you were trying to say or whatever you're trying to say. So I wanted to give you that platform. But what we, we're going to make sure that we stick to the questions, the 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 points that we are going to make. And and whether you agree or disagree, you can say, I disagree, but we, we're not going to throw stuff back at each other, no way, in any shape or form. So, the, so just to bring you up to speed, um, one of the things, like I, like I said, and I think when I called you, I was talking, it first hit me the way I was watching TikToks and it was so many people, both black men and women, just downing Kamala. And this, like, again, this was not a political thing. If they were talking about her issues, like, I don't like anything she stands for. I don't like that she did this at a process, whatever it is, I can take those. But it was mostly about, um, First of all, sexualizing her, like saying, oh, she slept her way to the top or she she did this or did that or. Um, so that's that's I'm just I'm giving you some background on why this is. So this is this is kind of what this this conversation came about. And. Can we address the issue of her being black? Um, can we start right there? Because that's the big buzz right now that she's really not a black uh, American as uh, far as we are, you know. And if we can start right there, that would be fine. I think that would lead us into where, well, where you want to go because I mean, she's black. She's black. But she's not the kind of black that you and I are. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. But that is, I'm going to stop in that sense is because this is one of the things that we, we, we have an issue with. when. Black no, no, I, that's what I'm saying. It, it, for years, you had a drop of blood, you were black. And most of the time, they're black. And no matter what, I have a biracial daughter. I, she is, you know, half Croatian, half um, African-American. I personally said, Jada, 
here's the thing, you might be light skinned, you might have what they quote unquote call good hair, but when they start throwing the N word, you they gonna call you one too. And that's kind of why I said that to her is that don't think that you just because you have white features, you are not black. And I think even biracial people know that they are black. They might want to be called biracial because they're trying to like, and, and with Jada, she will say I'm black, but I'm also Croatian giving, you know, props to her dad's heritage, but knowing that she is a black woman. So I don't think this, we don't have to discuss she has been black and she said she is black or black in, in the Indian for years. For years, even when she well, ran. Let me, let me say this. So say this. I'll let you well, well, go with she, you. I'm That's... sure Michelle got something to say about this. When, 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 what, what, I, what I mean, when I make that statement, I mean that this particular uh, Kamala M. Hall, Harris, doesn't have the sweat and blood and even death equity in this country that you and I have. See, your daughter that you're talking about, uh, your daughter has, through your through her ancestral lineage, has real equity in this country. And if we got somebody, I mean, if we're going to run somebody, let's run a black person with some real equity in this country. But she doesn't have, Barack Obama what, didn't even have We're not talking about, we're talking about, so I, I'm, okay, I'm now putting we're, it back. Okay, no, no, I'm just saying we're going, we're not talking about politics. We're talking about how we perceive black women. That's how it started. Michelle, do you have something to say? Well, I mean, I think, first of all, we just need to clear up a couple of things. You know, Barack Obama was raised in the United States of America. He was not raised in Kenya, where his dad is from. He was raised in this country. So when people, you know, make a, a comment like Barack Obama didn't have sweat equity, whatever that's supposed to imply, his mother, his mother is an American citizen and his father was Kenyan and he was raised in this country, um, period. Full stop. No, it's not uh, full when, stop. It is full stop. Equity. And when we talk about and when we talk about a Kamala Harris, and when it, when we talk about a Kamala Harris, you know, I am sure that we can line up any number of Jamaicans. David Bowen um, comes from a former state representative. David Bowen, uh, current uh, state. I'm sorry, Milwaukee alderman or alderwoman uh, Charlotte Moore. All are of Jamaican descent. I'm sure that if any of these people were to be in this room, number one, you're not gonna know they Jamaican. They're going to just be black. When you see them, they're just going to be black people. But number two, if you understand the transatlantic slave trade, if you understand how we got to these respective regions of the world, we all have some degree of death, loss, enslavement, um, entrenchment in the systems that have oppressed people. So whether or not I was in Jamaica and experiencing a degree of racism or um, oppression or if I'm in the United States and experiencing that, I don't care where you go in the world, there will be black people that will be able to identify across those lines. So to try to, to pick up this narrative that white conservatives are pushing, it is sad it's to see white black people adopting this, it's about me being this notion that somehow I'm this sister is shame. not black. Totally because not. again, okay. let's, not, let's not confuse it. No one said that she minute. said she was African-American. She said she was black. And you can be black and be from Croatia. You can be black and be from Germany. You can be black and be. So it's the global. So it's the global majority. OK, but who was her father? That's one grandfather. Of course. Who was her father? Hold on. Hold on. Who was her paternal relative? Mr. Harris. Who was her paternal relative? Mr. Harris. So I'm just saying, you know, like you, we're not going to do that. We're not, I'm not well, going to allow people to divide us as black people. No, we're not. You're doing it. Because the you white people about, in America want to try to define so who we should be. Because that's people. what's happened. Hold on. We're not let's we're say not, that's let's what take a break the and we're going to we're going to take a break and take a call. You know, as you, you know, let's, uh, you got some, you got some allies. On the phone. No, it's not about, yeah. let's not, then, you know what? It's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really, hold on, hold on. I'm really like, I thought this was going to be able to be a conversation back and forth. I'm really regretting this. Um, I, I'm really regretting this right now. But can I can I can I get the caller? Let's see what the caller has to say, and let's take a breath. Caller, go ahead. Uh, good morning. Um, I just like to express that sometimes mutual respect is um, 
you to respect. I respect anybody where they stand at. But this morning, sometimes we have to find a place to stand down when women are talking. When somebody lets you, when somebody else is talking, you show protocol. You have to genuinely get to a place. But the other part is, I believe, and with all due respect and from the bottom of my heart, that I know when I go to the poll, that somebody that I know will do a good job. Because of all the stuff that they had to go through, because that woman, the woman, and I don't mean T-H-A-T, I mean the woman, had to dot her eyes, cross her teeth, make sure that she had knew what she was talking about when she got her BA, when she got her master's degree, when she when she became an attorney. And if she didn't have all and she and because of where she came from and who her parents and what her ethnicity was, she had to work twice as hard. I don't care what college she went to. Understand that goes for everybody that has gone to the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and any other college in the United States or abroad, Black women, and that was a Black woman that went over there to Howard and got her degree, but she still had to dot her eyes across her teeth because she was Black and she knew it. And this is what I got to do, and this is the way my life is going to go. And I don't care who she married to or whatever else she's doing. She has showed who she was along the line because she had done the work. People need to that get it in their awesome. head again. Show oh, some respect let and it. regard for other people. And I'm talking to anybody that's sitting there, and everybody know that. Okay. So you you all have a good day. Wait, wait. And I thank you so much, ma'am, for letting me speak. Yeah, um, ma'am. I think uh, one of the panelists uh, had a question. Go ahead, Mr. Meach. Carlo, you said something absolutely correct. You said a person will show you who they are and what they did and all of the great accomplishments that she's accomplished. And I'm going to just say, uh, uh, Mrs. Kamala Harris, if, they, if that's okay, I'm going to address it like that. You are definitely right with all the accomplishments and all of the things that she's done. Uh, but at the same time, I, I see other things that she's accomplished and she's done that has hurt us as a black people, as a black person. Now, it hasn't been in the millions like Joe Biden did, but she hurt a lot of folk. Okay. And, 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 and I want to ask you something, Carla. Do you, do you think? Uh, Donald Trump is racist. I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna I'm stop there because this is this. Uh, this no, no, no. Who you this are, is how we finish. But I'm gonna say it like this, ma'am. So we're we keeping this. We're not. We I we were talking true. about the the blackness and yeah, black people. I'm not yeah. necessarily talking about politics here. Okay. I so understand. and I keep. We, we understand about the nonpartisan. I mean the nonpartisan uh, view that you guys have, and I respect the nonpartisan. But we're here, and basically, uh, what is it's it, it is revolved around politics. So, how do you uh, uh, abstract what we're talking about from so, politics? How no, but it, 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 it actually this is not what it's it started. Uh, thank you, caller. What this started out as was how I watched how they they portrayed a black woman. And then I went to see other topics, other um, TikToks that were about the same. So it started out, yes, with watching how they people described her. But then it went into, a uh, why do... I mean, but even to watch how she has been characterized as uneducated. You know, I, when I talked about it on my show yesterday, I said that there was a third grade gentleman attending yeah. a rally from, I think he said, Nicaragua. Um, who said that she, you know, lacked the intellectual capacity to be the president of the United States. As he sat there with a third grade education and saying, yes, I know dumb when I see dumb. I don't understand how we get to the point that we have to tear down the work that somebody has done to say that I differ with you politically. And so what we see is frequently that thing that we, we face as women and as women of color in particular that our skill sets are always questioned, our mental capacity, you know, intellectual abilities are always questioned. I see it here with women locally, you know, who have had people, no matter that you've attained the highest level of education that you can, and people question whether or not you have the ability 
uh, to be able to do a job based on, on, on mental acting. Let's take another caller. Caller, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Dr. Bryant. Hey, Dr. Ward. Your a little interaction with a certain person whose uh, premise I questioned highly. And I want to settle this thing for the stupid, the dumb, and the stupid. You could determine if a person is black by taking them to a lot of different areas, and the population will tell you whether they are black or white. And that's borne out by light, bright, and everybody white, black people can be white. Jewish people are hated more, almost as much as black. And a lot of it has to do with change their name and give up their higher religion, and they'll be white. A lot of biracial people don't want to be black, so they call themselves biracial. Some of them call themselves white. And so much. Well, rare. Kamala Harris called herself Indian, Doc. Because she didn't want to be black. Listen, 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 I'm listening listen, to you. Know, I always listen to I, you, mother. What did I just say? Anybody who looked at her was determined what she is. You don't have to tell them anybody else what you think she is. You just keep that to yourself and let other people make their own decisions. Bye-bye. <laughs> Catch Wisconsin Voices, Pia Voice Radio, every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. as we focus on community partnerships, voter education, and long-term collective impact for all Wisconsinites. You're listening to Wisconsin Voices, Pia Voice Radio. Follow us at B-A-W-I Voice and learn more at wisconsinvoices.org. Wisconsin Voices, three pillars, protecting democracy, teaching advocacy, Building community. Good morning to you, Mr. Bryant. <laughs> um, I was looking into um the go uh, back and forth, and I wanted to say that um uh when it comes to black people in general, there are sixteen shades mm-hmm. to our people. Sixteen shades. To our people, brother Christopher, we ain't talking about shades, man. We talking about what we talking about the black man who if really was a high. Hold on, let him finish. Go ahead, go ahead. If you would allow me, go ahead. I understand. Yes, sir. I understand. I'm going to be quick. If if you're talking about what your distinction may be, or what you might be uh, implying, is that the only thing that I can think of logically is that the mindset. What we have to be concerned about is the mindset of anyone who comes before us as a self-proclaimed leader. And when it comes to Kamala Harris, she's a black woman. I see a black woman. I see the features of a black woman. She graduated from Howard University. She's a uh, freak, uh, one of the sorority sisters of the Divine Nine. I mean, I'm familiar with these things. So... And I've been around these sisters, Delta, uh, all of the all of the sisters. I've been around them. And I understand what they appreciate and the struggles that they have endeavored and they have endured to accomplish their goals. I sit next to them. I've spoken with them. I've dated some of them. So if you're talking about attempting to disqualify Kamala Harris on what what is the basis? I don't, have, I don't see a basis other than that she's okay. a woman. We're going to turn your mic. You go, hold on. And other than that she's a woman, yeah. that she's let black, me have, let me have and you. that you may be a misogynistic no, uh, oh, man. Hey, hey, hey Chris, take my call. No, don't hang up. Chris, I have a question. Oh, yeah, Chris, on, Chris, Chris let, me, let me say this to you, man. Everything that you said, you know, sounded so swell. But I want to say this to you, well, man. Well, you're swell. I am logical. Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, well, let me say this to you. With all your intellect, and we've had this dialogue before, let me explain yeah. something to you. I am not talking about uh, 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 the, the skin tone or any of that. I'm talking about a black man, black woman from America. Why they couldn't get a Farrakhan? Right. You know, why they couldn't well, get a me? You know. Why they couldn't get a why, him? Why, why, 
we why? didn't get a brother me. You know why? You know why? I know what you, you know why? Oh no, I'm finna tell you something. You know why? And did you know why? I'm gonna let you out. Listen, no, let me know what what he's saying is that I'll finish to everyone. Thank you, you. Okay, go ahead. She she has not uh pay, paid it for with regard to her ancestry. I know he's talking about. Let me say this to you. Well, then, while you having this discussion with me, if you know it, you said it right there. But he's saying he's. But wait, so why? Hold on. Why you having a discussion with me? So what he said, I guess, what it was that's being anti-black. So what I think he's saying is, thank you for taking my call. Thank you. What I woman. What I believe he's saying is that he 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 may agree with you on what she has done to pay it forward to black people, but what he's also saying is. Don't disparage her from being black. Maybe she hasn't re repaid the way people think she should repay, but she's still black. That's kind of, I think that's what he is saying. She's not the hybrid that we are. Okay. Do you understand? Hybrid. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me abstract that from saying that because that can go somewhere else. Let me say something to you. The black man in America is a trend setter for the whole round world. Okay. For the whole round You're world. So crazy. Jamaica is You're not. So crazy. Hold on, Jamaica. Oh my God. You know what? It's not wrong with you, bro. You are crazy. Cuckoo, fuck up, up, up. You don't believe. You are nah, crazy. Nah, it's to them. So, no, you crazy. Oh, man. You crazy. What are you with? Let me tell you why you crazy. First of all, the conversation, no. we can move past whether she's black in okay. your eyes then or not. The next stop? conversation That's was me. about how women are being treated, okay. in, in particular, this sister, this particular given mother. the accomplishments that she has been uh, yeah. able to uh, uh, to complete, but after yet she she's said, being after she sent thousands of uh, hundreds hey, of brothers to Kyle serve. Didn't, oh, God, Kyle didn't go find no black man and make him commit a crime oh, and make him go to jail. You know what she, she did? No, this what she, she did. Do that. She operated under the hydro. Hey, just like I said hey, before. She operated under the hydro program. Okay? Just like and I said before. Program. And that's why I mean, and it still hasn't been repealed. Joe Biden been in there four years. He was eight years old, Obama. Never been appealed. Oh, okay. And that was a Trump, that was a program. That Trump, uh, appealing. Uh, but what, what what Trump did, I'm glad you said that, sweetie. I'm sorry for calling you sweet. Hey, look at what you just you just so sweet. No. You know what I mean? You just so sweet. But you I hope you're not gonna bring up the uh the first step act. No, we can we can't address no, that. No, because I'm gonna say even with that, even with that act, she was one of the people who brought it through. For him to sign. No, 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 I, no, no. Yeah. Let, let me say something to you. They wasn't giving no play on that. They wasn't giving no play on that. Had, had we not had a, had we not had the House, uh, uh, the Senate, that thing probably w wouldn't have went through Congress and did nothing. Let me explain this to you. The First Step Act, not only the First Step Act, okay? I want you to look at that that police reform. Remember that we said George Ford bill didn't come. Donald Trump did an executive order for police reform, addressed nine things that the Urban League had put down. Okay, he addressed all of them but one. Okay, and that, that was in the executive order. We don't hear nothing about that. And that's the police reform. That right there, as a matter of fact. But we're not talking about Donald Trump and his police reform. We're talking about Kamala Harris. We're talking about women. But, but we're talking Harris about the, the way this. No, 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 because we're not talking about her policies. We're talking about the attacks that have been leveled against her that are outside the realm of policy. Okay. That's the discussion. Okay. Okay. We're not going down the lane of whose candidate is the stronger candidate. We're talking about the treatment of this woman, this black woman that is outside the realm of politics. I honestly, Michelle. That people calling her a jump down and people no, saying she slept her way to I'm the not top. Get it and people, that. you know, but that is the conversation that we needed to have today. today. Mich uh, Michelle. They have not even, I believe, unleashed what you're going to get after Kamala Harris. See, she wasn't I ready. Did. To run, well, I mean, to seriously, run for president. so we could talk about that, but we could also have a man who has actually been convicted of sexual assault, actually been accused by 19 women who were willing to stand up, show their face, and say, This dude sexually assaulted me. So, yet, but we, we, we don't put we an emphasis on what we no, believe Kamala no, Harris no, might be. No, I but y'all are saying no, I never, men can get away with being a, a, a convicted rapist. They can be convicted, I mean, accused on, by 19 on, on, women. On, 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 on. So we can be okay with that. And then someone who says grab her by the peak. That's that right. character I say doesn't get you knocked out but of can I say, attention. Can I say but a woman who is said to be anything 
then we can we can find all the flaws in the world with her. No, we're not looking for no flaws. That's, that's exactly a, what's happening. Just a few things that's going. I think it's going to be more than that. Just come. like this whole you know, nonsense about whether or not she has a child and if that makes her capable of being a leader. Well, she don't have a child. Well, she what does that have to do with child. being a leader? As a matter of fact, a man no, has never had there's no president that has ever had a child. I have more respect. Have more respect. Let me be clear. Hold on, I got more president that has ever had a baby. I got more. There is no U.S. president that has ever had a baby. Can I say this? Did you hear what I? Yeah, I don't. There is no U.S. president. That that means? That is, so that means that every U.S. president, for the terms of the natural biological state, has been childless. No, what you mean, as far as a man, as far as a man, you never a baby. That's come on, come on, come on. That's, that's what I just that, said. That, 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 Don't nobody that. worry about me. He's crazy. No, nah, see, that's A man what can't have no baby. Okay, then. So what you talking about? You done went crazy. No, what you... Wait, wait, wait. So what she's trying to say, I lied. I got it. I got it. No, but because the, 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 you, you have to... You have to have a baby to be able, physically to be able to care about the world. Hold on. Because that's the implication. No, no, it's not. You have you to physically have, have a baby to no. be able to care about the world. No, no. But no man has physically had that's, a baby, not, but yet he can be in charge of the free world. You know what? What you tell, see that, that argument right there takes us into the LGBTQ yeah. stuff. Yeah. When you start, are you open? But that's not the conversation the today. Then please so stay on task. Like Close it. No, stay on tag. No, I didn't. You just talking about a Because that's a complaint that's been leveled at comps. No. Stay on task, no, bro. No, no, Let me say this to you. When you start talking about me and carrying babies, you going into the LGBT. That, how, that's not. Please join Wisconsin Voices every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. We will be focusing on community partnerships, voter education, and long-term collective impact for all Wisconsinites. You're listening to Wisconsin Voices Be A Voice Radio. Follow us at BAWI Voice and learn more at WisconsinVoices.org. The three pillars of Wisconsin Voices are protect democracy, build community, and teaching advocacy. Go to wisconsinvoices.org to learn more about Wisconsin Voices and our partners and to stay up to date on all community events. If you like and want to support Wisconsin Voices and the work that they do, please click on the donation tab. Go ahead, Colin. Hello? Hello. Andy, how y'all doing? I just wanted to catch y'all call before y'all got off the air. Uh, Meech still in the building? Yes, he is. Hey, what's up, Meech? Hey, how you doing, big brother? Who is that, uh, uh Sharm? Nah, this Mark. Oh, okay. Go ahead, my man. Go ahead, Mr. Hey, Mark. Man, I just wanted to let you know, I said, it sounds like a ambush on Meech. I said, Meech ain't get to finish her point not one time. But that's okay, because I, I was prepared for this, but I was prepared for a more structure. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, this structure. I thought really? Michelle was going to bring all her good wits <laughs> and all her points so I could get out. Hey, uh, you, you said Beach Mid Ambush. That's what I mean. I thought Michelle was going to I thought Michelle was going to be I thought I, 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 I sat here for a whole seven minutes and didn't say a word. He had the complete no org and the mic. So y'all, y'all let the callers do it for y'all. You let the callers do it for y'all. I mean, I, I appreciate your support so, for your guy, but your man had like seven minutes of uninterrupted banter. That's to say what so, wanted to. So wait a minute. I'm going to, wait, wait, I'm going to. That's fake news. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say this. I usually let everybody finish their thought. I cannot control who call in. I, I don't control who calls. Yeah, that's um, a mute button for it. But no, I don't do that. I have never done that. Can and we I mute do, him? Can we mute him? Um, <laughs> no, 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 we're not going to. I'm going back to Lily because I can't listen to the show. <laughs> can, can we? All right. <laughs> um, buddy, somebody said that I there was a text that came in and said they wanted to question my lineage because I, I'm, I'm on the fast skin side, right? But I want I want to say something. It ain't easy. Hold on. I want to fast get the side but, right. But, okay, but check this out. I my oh, family yeah. my family owns the freedom papers to my great grandmother. Okay, she was sold in Virginia to some white folks in Mississippi. She died in 1942 at at, at a church. I don't want to call the name. Leaning on my granddaddy's shoulder. My granddaddy was born in 1919. I mean. Uh, 1899. Sorry about that. 1899. So I want you to understand something. I understand where I come from. Most people don't understand where they come from or don't know. So they go out and they buy these little things. And we only have the lineage up to her. We don't know what uh, 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 she was doing. She on her papers, it says she was sold at 13. She don't probably know how old she was. So, but at the same time, that's another discussion. And uh, I got more respect for Mrs. Bukovic than I do for Lynn. Ke- 
Vukovic. I'm V. It's a V, bro. V. Vukovic. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. That's okay. If I'm okay, I got more respect for her than I do for Clara Ham uh, uh, Harris. You know that? Why? You know why? Why? Because Mrs. Uh, Vukovic took her rightful place in a marriage and took the name of her significant other that Oh, uh, we on this? She, she you Kamala have, Harris. You, you this is what Kamala sexist. Harris did. No, because she Kamala Harris. Her did. name that she had Kamala Harris. Harris. Real real? It don't make no difference. She had her name built Hold around on. her. Kamala name. Harris would not take the name oh. M Hall, okay? Of some uh Sorry. Roger M Hall guy who was busted messing around with a when you call that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. No, 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 the man in there doing up the hill. You know what? Really in the position of the hill. What does that some other will come in here? Oh my no, no, he, he did all of that before right. he married. He don't make no to the man of that was not the hell. You know and, what? And, because, oh, and, and guess me. what? So here's the thing I wanna I wanna clarify. I wanna clarify. He had an what I, teacher. What I what I wanted to clarify Hold on. This is, this is. You need to stop. When I. Just a look, I, me. me and Mr. Meach, I'm going to just say me and Mr. Meach have conversations. Uh, we, we have discussions <laughs> back and forth, Mr. Meach and I. Um, some, uh, most of the time I disagree with him, but I respect whatever he says because that's his opinion. Um, and that's, and um, I also, I disagree with you a lot, but we, we talk about that. I say, I don't know where you coming from. But the one thing, <laughs> the one thing, um, you want to know why, and I just want to tell you why I kept my, I, I changed my married name, is because I did not want my daughter to be the only Black Vukovic. It had to do with her, not anything else. But as I, there was, there's very few biracial, I think I found one in 25 years that is black and Croatian and that is my daughter and one other woman that I went to grade school with but but I did it for her so I would never have a stigma on her as her me being a great because that is also if I go in they would not assume that I was married to my husband you assume but that is the problem we assume too much about Oh, they're not married or she's a single mom because I chose it. Now, here's the opposite side. If I divorced my husband right now or he passed away, I would never change my last name. Why? Because my brand is Tamika Vukovic now. And if I went back to Gray, and that is what Kamala did. She built her her whole brand on Harris. Why lose you who you built? I bet you she was called Boo, uh, 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 if she was called Mohawk or whatever her name is, we would be looking at her entirely different. If What's her what? name? We Imhoff. If she was Kamala Imhoff, which her husband name, she would have a whole different push. No, like some, this is a honeymoon period for her. I think her numbers gonna fail in a couple coming weeks. I think this is just a good start, a good push. It's like a football game. You dig? At the hey, it gets down to the wire. When you get to the wire, then we know who gonna win. So we, you, we, we just having a happy time right now. I want Kamala Harris to lose this race. Anybody wise would go ahead on and yes, vote against we do her. want the sexual pervert to win the race. We do want the rapist to win. We do want that's the right, man who right. has a par horrible credit rating to win. We do want the man who said grab women by the P to win. We do want the man with 19 women accusing him of sexual assault to win. We do want the man who cheats charity so much to the point that the state of New York said that he could never have, I'm sorry, not never, but for the next 10 years, he can never this own a charity in his true. own name. But this you is want, who we want oh, no, to win. We do want the man to win. We do want the man to win who stole people's money at his fake Trump University and then has ordered to pay $25 million to the people he robbed. That is exactly who we want to win. This amazing pillar of character, that's who we should have. I, okay. Now, now can I just go uh -huh. rebu rebuttal this? Listen, but she wants a party to win that has took God out of the platform, that wants children to be, their breasts to be mutilated so they can be little boys, little boys to be mutilated into little girls. She to wants do. that party to win. She wants a party that has refused to refuse to close the border to eliminate black men. Donald black, Trump had an opportunity to do a deal on immigration, he, he, and he told them not to. He built 600 he miles of wall. Biden to get he, built, he built 600 he, and restored 600 miles of wall. That's from here to St. Louis. Hold on, hold on. Can I say this? That's what you say. 
Okay, so we're not taking any more callers because we literally have one minute, and I'm oh, sorry, wow. caller. This has been great. Um, we have. I'm one... sorry, I was late. I know. You probably will never have me back because of my tardiness. But hey, you know I'm black. Why? I'm black, so I, I, I might run late. But let me say this to you. Can I say something? Go ahead. I, I want to say something to you because uh, you, you need a mic. Just, okay. You made that comment about her not respecting her husband's last name. Uh-huh. Well, I was married 27 years till death did us part. Okay. I took care of him till he passed away. And I kept my own last name because I built my career off of it. Okay. So it's not just. Well, Houston, and my not children, a... all my children have their father's that. last name. You know what? It, it's not. I a, get all it's of really that. not about. I get all of that. Because we're talking about things of women. You done threw out every insult. And, and that's particular. I love women. It, if God made anything more better show. than a woman, it for doesn't man, he must show. Have kept it to himself. It doesn't show. I love them. It doesn't show. Because when, when it's convenient to throw us under the bus, you have did that all day. So we are gonna go. That would be the thank you. You know, that big tie I got him. So I thank you from all coming in to uh, this went sideways from what I really wanted to discuss. Um, but it is, Mr. Meach, I will have you on again because that's... I apologize to your audience. No, no, it's no apologize. No, sorry. No, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, you shouldn't apologize for what you were saying. That's it's a No, I meant time. everything that I said. Damn, be it. That party, you cannot know. That mess that came out of your mouth. You cannot know that party to apologize for being on this radio station. So you should be to apologize. So we are uh, Be A Voice. We are Be A Voice with the Scott Voices. Expressed on this show do not reflect that of the staff and management of WNOV and W293 CX 106.5 FM Courier Communications Milwaukee, but are the sole comments of the host and guest of this particular show. The views and opinions expressed in this program do not reflect those of Wisconsin Voices, but are those of the hosts and guests of this particular show. And their appearance on the program does not imply any endorsements or representation by Wisconsin Voices. Thank you for listening to Be a Voice with Wisconsin Voices. Be a voice. 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 Visit WisconsinVoices.org. Visit WisconsinVoices.org. Visit WisconsinVoices.org. And learn more on how to be a voice with Wisconsin Voices.